Hey everyone, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club! Exclamation point. Last time, um, Monica, or we, we, Sayori was depressed and we told Monica about it and Monica's like, I'm gonna tell her a secret and if you're not a complete dumbass, you realize Sayori is in love with me, but I'm going past for Yuri, so we got ourselves a little bit of a love triangle now. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do Natsuki next so we can have a little bit more fun, then we're gonna do the obviously depressing one, which will be Sayori. Here we go! Mmm! Meh! I guess you really haven't learned anything at all! Honestly, I don't even know why I get my hopes up in the first place! What? I didn't think this one was that bad. What did I do wrong? Post on there be all deep sounding to express something! It's all. Gonna sound like you're forcing it unless you really don't suck at it. Honestly, don't even bother writing poems like this unless you're on Yuri's level. Natsuki stopped short all of a sudden. Don't tell me! Huh? You're, you're not trying to impress Yuri, are you? What are you talking about? Keep your voice down. You know Yuri would love this kind of, this angsty bullshit. Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean, I mean... Ah! Looks like I'm in trouble! Uh-oh! I somehow struck a nerve. Though, what I did was beyond me. I am so done with you! Nasty she supposed to put my hand back in- <laughs> Take your stupid poem! If you wrote for someone else, just don't show it to me! Ouch. Uh, that's what I get for letting a younger girl step into my business. Unless I was a mind reader, I was destined to be in the world of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to press in the first place. Oh, that's hella funny! So I don't have to read your shitty poems anymore, because I didn't... I, uh, quizzed him. Okay, say so you're your turn. Huh. <sighs> um... It's nice, I guess. Come on, I could tell you're... I could already tell you don't like it. Well... You don't really need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this poem for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. Eh? I didn't write this poem for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Cyclone Chan. Bye. Sorry. Is there something wrong? Huh? Uh, no, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. Hehehe. <laughs> Alright. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? We can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a bit early today. Sayori. Come on, I wasn't feeling okay. well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori really cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Ah, oh, jeez. This is getting kind of depressing. I don't like this. I don't like this game anymore. This has, like, been a really quick episode. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Cyclone-chan, your writing's not only improved in the last few days, every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious, even. I don't even think it ca this ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, hey, that's the wrong way to put it. This has never come naturally to me. But I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. Is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling. I'm so glad I got the chance to share my feeling, my writing. I never thought it would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe that you're so good at something you never even shared it with anyone. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but, um, it's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well... Yuri smiles sadly. cyclo -chan. During lunchtime, I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to f it's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I've always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it, anyway. But books are so full of amazing, inspiring people—people people who you want to fall in love with, or people who just want to make a really good friends, cheerful people who always put a smile on your face. Or deep figures and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day. Oh, this is kind of depressing. You know? And those friends don't make 
don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. Um, I don't think making fun of is the right way to phrase it. It's more like jealousy? Jealousy is the right word? Yeah, jealousy. And they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Hyclone Chan. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings. All I could do with them is read and write. But, that is, but it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you. I really understood what was missing all this time. But I haven't really done anything. No, that's wrong. Just being patient and respectful, that's really important to me. I'm a, I know I'm a difficult person, Cyclone Chan. I speak too slowly. I second guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you have always treat me like everyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I feel really happy. I see. Well, I treat you like you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping to make friends. And I would say at least made one success. Wouldn't you? Um, uh, if you put it that way... It, yeah. We are really are friends, aren't we? Yuri puts her head in her hands. But this time she's smiling as she does it. You want, me to, sh you want to show me your poem? Yeah, I do. Let me get it for you. Ahem. <clears throat> oh, it's a part two. Ghost under the light, part two. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. In the distance, a blue-green light flickers. A lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds. The silhouette grows closer, closer. My, I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from the visibility. But I am too late. He steps into the streetlight. I gasp and drop my umbrella. The light flickers. My heart pounds. He raises his arm. He stops. The only indication of movement is the amber light flickering against his outstretched arm. The flickering light is a rhythm with the power pounding of my heart, tempting me for succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of a girl's feeling warmth before? Giving up on understanding, I laugh. Understanding is overrated, I touch his hand. The flickering stops, ghosts are blue-green, my heart is amber. Finishing the poem, I, I start to hand back to Yuri, but instead of taking it from me, she looks away. Um, did you dislike it? Uh, no, of course not. I just, I really don't know how I should respond. Despite Yuri's poem being usually being cryptic, it wasn't really uh, hard to figure out what this one was about. Also, it clearly isn't a poem that Asuki said she wrote about. I mean, I'm probably the only one she's showing this to. I don't know how I'll be able to explain this one. That's fine. I understand this one. Ah. Yuri's having even a harder time speaking it than usual. Does that mean... Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. Oh, I'm not really good with words, but um, I'm happy that you shared it with me. So thank you. And I hope we keep spending time together. Despite my inability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile emerge from Yuri's lips. Once again, try to hand the poem back to her. But instead, Yuri gently takes my hand and pushes it a bit against towards me. I say in response to her warm touch. You can, um, um... This poem is... Once again, Yuri fall, fails to form a complete sentence. You mean I can keep it? Yuri nods. Aww. I love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles, as if she doesn't want me to notice. You always... You always make me feel nice. I don't know... I know I'm not good with people, but, uh... I hope that I can return the favor sometimes. Yeah. Don't worry. I think you do a good job. Yuri finally turns back towards me. I guess we should move on before Monica says something. I'm sure we could talk again later. Yeah. I'm sure we will. With that, Yuri timidly smiles at me and I return to my seat so I can put the poem away. Oh, right. We are done with the episode. Um... <laughs> um, don't forget to follow us on social media. 
like the Twitter and the YouTube and the Facebook. Because those places I will add, if you send me a message, except on maybe Facebook, I'm not sure. I, Facebook's kind of weird about it. If you send me a message on um, Twitter, in the handle at LordCycling89, I will respond to your comments. If you comment below, I'll respond to your comments. If you comment anywhere, I'll comment on your comments. Commenting! Hey, it's I'm Lord Cyclone. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.